Get ready for an exciting look behind the scenes at our seed starting process here at Jolly Farmer. During our busy season, we run four seeding lines and produce about 80 million seedlings every year. At the beginning of the seeding line, each tray is labeled with a unique ID for easy tracking and management. The tray is then placed on a conveyor belt and transported under a soil hopper that fills it with soil. A rotating drum called a dibble creates a small indent in each cell for the seeds to be planted in. This helps center the seeds for more uniform rooting and produces a better product for our customers. Next, a sowing drum has been selected with the correct size and spacing for the variety being sown. The drums can be switched out depending on the size of the seed, the number of seeds needed per cell, as well as the tray size being seeded. The seeding team retrieves the correct seed from the seed cooler and each package is scanned against the barcode on the tray being seeded to double check that the right species and variety is selected. This is a crucial step and has eliminated virtually all variety mix-ups. The seed is then placed in a hopper next to the sewing drum. The drum is attached to a vacuum pump and compressor and rotates predominantly under vacuum suction, picking up a seed or several seeds on every hole. As the drum rotates, the bottom row of holes transitions from vacuum suction to pressure, releasing the seeds into the tray. It takes a lot of skill and precision to ensure the seed is delivered at exactly the right time into the center of each cell, compensating for the speed of the tray, the weight of the seed, and the speed of the drum rotation. The seeding team does a quick check after the sewing step to ensure that each cell has the correct number of seeds in it. Then, a covering unit dispenses vermiculite or soil over the surface of the tray, covering the seed. Once covered, the tray goes through a watering unit where the seeds are soaked so the germination process can begin. The trays are loaded onto racks and rolled into our fog chambers where high humidity and temperatures will encourage the seeds to germinate quickly. After a few days, with germination already initiated, our team will take the trays out of the fog chambers and lay them out on benches in our germination greenhouses. In the next video, we'll show you more of the germination and growing process we use for our seed-started plants.